Hello everyone! Today we're going to be doing a short review on three-digit addition with regrouping. Okay, so let's look at our first problem, three-digit addition, when we're going to be looking at problems with regrouping. So when we are looking at a problem and we are going to stack our numbers, we are always going to start on this right hand side. We always start with the ones place. Always, always, always. Always starting with whatever place value is on the right. And that is always the ones for us third graders. So we are going to add seven plus nine. Okay, however, whatever strategy you need to use in order to add seven plus nine, that's what you're going to use. 7 plus 9, 16. Okay, now when we write our number 16, we have a 10 and 6 ones. So when we answer that in our problem, we are going to put our 6 ones down in the ones place, and then we're going to regroup our 10. Then we're going to add our tens place, and we have 10 plus 10 plus 30. 1 plus 1 plus 3. And that gives us 50 because we're in the tens place, so that's 5 tens. Do we need to regroup again? The answer is no because we don't have another 10 that we need to regroup, so we can add our hundreds. We have 4 hundreds plus 100, and that gives us 5 hundreds. All right, let's do one more. We have 368 plus 155. Where do we start? That's right, we always start with the ones. So we have eight ones plus five ones. You can use whatever strategy you need to in order to answer this problem. Eight plus five is 13. So we're going to put our three ones and regroup our 10. And then we have one plus six plus five tens, and how many tens is that? That's 12 tens. So we're going to put our two and then regroup our 10 into the hundreds place. And then we have 100 plus 300 plus 100, five hundreds. Okay, hope that refreshed your memory with our three digit addition with regrouping. Anytime you have a 10, you regroup to the next place value. All right, go at it, good luck.